In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a countdown clock in WordPress, and I've created a lot of variations for you. I have two different countdowns. There's one to a specific date of the year, and one counting down from a specific time down to zero. Both of those, when they hit that point, whenever their clock runs out, they can be redirected to wherever you want. And I have three different styles. I have three different CSS style sheets, I guess you could say, for each of these clocks for three different designs. And I'm going to show you how to embed all of that and choose the appropriate one for you. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. So all the code we need to create countdown timers on our website is found on this blog post page, linked to in the description down below. We scroll down here a little bit, we see the HTML. This is used to make the countdown timer. We have to put that onto a page on the website. We have two different types of JavaScript. One is to create a countdown to a specific date. The other is to create a countdown for a specific amount of time. And we're gonna include this directly onto the page with the HTML. The alternative is this blog post I linked to right here, which includes the JavaScript via functions.php and that puts it on that singular page as well. There's a YouTube video for that, linked to in the card. You can go to this page here, a bunch of different ways to get there. For the CSS, which is down below on the bottom of this page, there's a tutorial for adding that via the functions file as well, but we're gonna add that through the customizer, and the CSS is down here. We have three different styles. One is an alarm clock look, the other is a stacked boxes look, and the last one is an end of the world look. And the way I've designed this, we put the HTML on the page, then we pick one of the clock types, either the countdown to a specific day or a specific amount of time for the countdown, and then we choose the look we want. And we just copy paste all of it. And it should work out just fine. So let's get started. Let's copy paste the HTML. Let's create a new page. Go to pages, add new. I control click or command click to open in a new tab. I'm gonna add a title called countdown timers, and I'm going to add an HTML block by clicking the plus icon, and I have HTML that I most used. If you don't have it most used, it's under formatting, then HTML or custom HTML. We're gonna paste in the HTML code that we got from the site above. We're getting some errors here. Please use tab for indentation, which I did, but I guess the copy and pasting didn't really reflect that. So I'm gonna fix all this tabbing by just deleting and then hitting tab a few times so it's nested. I'm just gonna pause the video till I have that done. Okay, so now I, I fixed those warnings just by doing tabs instead of whatever that was before. Should have been tabs. Uh, then I'm going to duplicate this. So we have another custom HTML block. I'm gonna delete what's in here and I'm gonna add the JavaScript. First, we're gonna do the countdown to a specific date. So let's select all of the code in here copy it, paste it in here. Now we need to update the date. Currently it's March 2nd, 2018. That has come and gone. It is currently August 5th, so I don't know, let's make it uh, December 10th, 2018 at 12.41 Greenwich Mean Time plus two hours. I don't know which time zone that is, it's not my time zone, but it is a time zone. And we're gonna now preview, because this auto saves. So we auto save this, gonna preview what this looks like. And here we have our countdown timer on the page. It's calculated the days, hours, minutes, and seconds until December 10th, and whatever time zone time that was. And it's counting down the seconds, as you can see here. As I'm talking, it's counting down. And this will count down as you expect, once this gets down to zero. This will switch to 36 minutes, and this will count back down from 59. And same with the hours and days, they'll count down as appropriate. But it doesn't look very good, how it is right here. Or maybe it does, maybe this is exactly how you want it. In that case, you can stop. But if you want to style this a little bit, let's go back into the website here and copy the alarm clock style. Double click into the box, select all of it, copy. Head over to the dashboard and then go to Appearance and Customize. I command clicked or control clicked to open in a new tab. And in pretty much every theme I've encountered, there is an additional CSS option somewhere in the customizer. 
Click on that and we have a box where we can paste in our CSS. So let's paste that in and publish. And this CSS is going to be displayed or are going to be in the source code of every single page on your site unless you go back to the blog post here and use this tutorial here to include the CSS just on a specific page. It's not hard to do and that's where you do it. And I've linked a tutorial on the card up above as well that takes you right to the video that will take you to the blog post with the code that you need for it. Either way, we're going to include this on the, seat on the page and as happens sometimes, things don't quite work out as expected. So this should not have happened. And I feel it's because this body code is here. I'll, I'll take that out. So most of this is styled specifically to the countdown timer. So I'm just going to double check all the CSS selectors. Looks like they're all specific to the countdown timer, except for the body. So I'm just going to delete the body. Let's remove that. That appears to have fixed the issue. I'll remove that from the code on the page as well. But if you encounter that problem, that's likely what the problem is. Now that the CSS is going to be in the head of the website, let's hard refresh command shift R or clear your caching cookies or try incognito mode. And we should have the CSS styles applied. Fingers crossed. There it is. There we have a fancy alarm clock countdown timer and the rest of the headers. Oh, there it is right there. Um, so that's how easy it is to get that going. Let's head over here. Let's try the, the other style. Stacked boxes look. Let's not copy the body one. That won't be there when this video is published. Let's just copy from the body down. When you're watching this video, you'll be able to just copy all of it. And then we select all over here, paste the new one, publish, come back out here, hard refresh, command shift R, control shift R, or incognito mode, or some other way of clearing caching cookies. And here we have the stack boxes. All the items are centered, as you see. Might not be a look that you like, but it's a look that we have. So if, if you want to request a different look, leave a comment in the description or in the comments down below the video, and we'll see if we can model some kind of look that you like for a countdown timer, but that's what we have on the blog post right now. Now we're going to get the last look. Double click into here, copy the CSS for the end of the world look. Come back into our customizer, select everything, paste the new one in, publish, and now let's refresh out here and we should have a new look for the timer. And here we have the end of the world look. Um, why is it the end of the world look? I don't know, but it is. So you can go ahead and adjust any of the CSS as you see fit. And that is all the styles on the countdown timer. Now I'm going to show you what the, where's the other one? The countdown to a for or from a specific amount of time JavaScript looks like. We're not going to go through all the styles again. We'll just keep it on the current one that we have. But we're going to change our JavaScript code on the page here. Let's delete the one we have, paste in our new one, and uh, hang on. Here we change the time. So the time in minutes is where we change our countdown timer. So if you want to do 10 minutes, this is where we do 10 minutes. We're going to do five minutes, one minute, 300 minutes, whatever you want, you put in there. And then this could have auto-saved. Let's just refresh out here, see if it auto-saved. I think it did. And then we should have a countdown timer from a specific time instead of to a specific day. So here we have the countdown timer in minutes uh, from 10 to, it's going to go down to zero. And then at zero, you can redirect to a different page. So when it hits zero, we scroll down here, we change this reference to google.com to any reference you like, and that's going to redirect to a different page when that countdown timer runs out to zero. And again, we can apply the different styles by just copying and pasting the CSS from here. And that's how we do these countdown timers really easily. Again, if you want to have different styles that aren't listed here, let me know what the styles are that you want, preferably with an example, and I'll see if I can make that for you or someone in the community can make it for you, maybe. And it will be added to this blog post here. And maybe this blog post will keep on expanding with more and more styles for the different countdown timers. But that is how we do it. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up and check out our private Facebook group, linked to in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side to so get even better WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you 
in the next video.